Good evening, and thanks for joining us on WTWO News at 6. I'm Tom McClanahan. Just this month, Terrell police have responded to two instances of pedestrians hit and killed by vehicles. The first fatality happened the night of November 11th on US 41 at 3rd Avenue. The second one happened this past Sunday night at Poplar near 17th Street. It's a troubling situation that has local officers raising awareness. Lily Pesavento is live in the newsroom with tonight's top story. Lily. Yes, Tom, from what we can understand about these incidents, they seem coincidental. While the latest fatal accident is still under investigation, police are taking the opportunity to provide some safety tips for both drivers and pedestrians. According to the United States Department of Safety, in 2016, 5,987 deaths were attributed to pedestrian and motor vehicle collisions. Variables such as weather, traffic flow, and time of day can all play a part in a tragic incident. You can't think because you're going to cross the street at 4 o'clock in the morning that there won't be a car coming. When it comes to staying safe in the car or on the street, everyone needs to be a team player. As a driver, you know, you can't be distracted because you got to realize that at any minute, at any second, somebody can walk out between two cars and they're not paying attention either. We talk extensively about distracted driving, but it's also important to be mindful of distracted walking. You have to have situational awareness. I mean, if you're crossing a street, the last thing you need to be doing is checking your phone. The safest places to cross a busy or even slow street is at the crosswalk, where drivers are more likely to be on a higher alert. If you think about it, oh, we as drivers, that's where we are most conditioned to expect someone to cross. Therefore, we're looking for people. Street and crosswalk safety is important. And according to Sergeant Lewis, the best advice is to get back to the basics. It's a two-way street, so whether you're the person crossing the street or you're the person driving the car, you know, you just have to stay with the basics and you have to use your common sense. Like Sergeant Lewis said, going back to those basics, use the crosswalk every time where it's available. If there isn't a crosswalk, keep in mind to be vigilant and check both ways before walking. Drivers need to be on high alert as well, and that means keeping both eyes on the road at all times. Tom. All right, thank you, Lily. And with winter-like weather underway, drivers should also be careful on slick roads and drive slowly so you don't skid if you have to come to an immediate stop.